Piecewise functions and how to make them continuous are a pretty big part of Calculus 1. So today I wanted to show you what's the easiest way to make a piecewise function continuous when you have a piecewise function with some unknown constants in it and how to solve for those unknown constants to make your function continuous everywhere. So I'm going to show you how to do this with an example so that you can see exactly the step-by-step -step process of how to do this as easily as possible. So let's go ahead and just jump right on into it. So this is the example I'm going to use to show you the easiest way to make a piecewise function continuous. The example is we're going to find the value of c that makes f continuous, where f is this piecewise function here, where we're going to use 2x minus 7 whenever x is less than or equal to 4, and then c minus x squared when x is greater than 4. So when you're doing these problems where you need to make a piecewise function continuous, what you need to do is first make sure that each piece of this piecewise function is continuous just within the domain where they're defined. And then once you've confirmed that, you can move on to make sure that the piecewise function is going to be continuous when you switch from one function to the other function. So in this case, if we look at each of these pieces, 2x minus 7 and c minus x squared, where c is some unknown constant we're trying to find, each of these functions by themselves is continuous everywhere. And we know this because 2x minus 7 is going to be a linear function, that's just a line. And then this function here, c minus x squared, is a quadratic. Both of these are examples of polynomials, and we know that all polynomials are continuous for all x values. So no matter what c is, we know that both of these functions are going to be continuous for all x values, which means they must both be continuous just within their restricted domain of this piecewise function where we actually use each of those. So that makes the first part really easy. We already know that these functions are both continuous within their domain. So now what we need to do is make sure that the function as a whole, the piecewise function, is continuous at this x value of x equals 4, where we switch from one function to the other function. And what that pretty much means is if you imagine graphing two functions, and this, this little sketch is not going to necessarily be what these functions look like, but let's just say we have this piecewise function that looks something like this. This is not going to be continuous everywhere because you can see when we get from one piece of our piecewise function to the other one, we jump from up here to down here. But if we instead imagine moving this piece of our piecewise function up to kind of fill in that gap, now we've made a continuous piecewise function. So that's kind of what we're trying to do here. We're trying to pick a C so that when we get, get to this point where we switch from one function to the other one, they actually line up with each other. Well, all that really means in terms of like algebraically, mathematically solving this on a piece of paper without using a graph or a picture of these functions is we need the output of each of these piecewise functions to be the same because the output would tell us the y value basically, which tells us the height of our function at that point when x is at the point where we switch from one function to the other one. So in other words, when x equals 4, we need both of these pieces of this piecewise function to give us the same output or to be equal to each other. So all we have to do is plug in x equals 4 into each of these and set them equal to each other. And as long as this equation is true, as long as these two pieces are equal when x equals 4, they should line up and have the same output in order to make this piecewise function continuous at x equals 4. So what we need to do at this point is solve this equation for c. We know this equation has to be true. c is the thing we're trying to find. All we have to do at this point is solve this equation for c. And then we'll kind of wrap it all together at the end. But before we do that, if this is making sense so far, go ahead and drop a comment below just saying you got it so far, so I know you're following along. And if you wouldn't mind giving this video a like as well while you're down there, that would be a huge help to me so I can keep making more videos like this. So anyway, let's go ahead and solve for c now. So c equals 17 will make sure that this piecewise function is continuous at the point x equals 4, which is when we switch from one to the other. Since we already confirmed that each of these pieces of this piecewise function is continuous uh, you know, within their entire domain, which means for all x is less than 4 and then for all x is greater than 4, we know that if c equals 17, that will make the piecewise function continuous everywhere for all x values because that covers all x is less than 4 
it covers x equals 4, and then it covers all x's greater than 4. So c equals 17 would be the answer to this problem. So now you should know the easiest way to make piecewise functions continuous. If you want to get some more practice with this, I have made some other videos about that. Go ahead and click on one of those over there and you can try testing out this new knowledge on another problem. If you found this video helpful, please be sure to hit that like button down below. It's a huge help to my channel so I can keep making more videos like this. Thanks and see you next time.